Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Infinity War Black Widow figure. So before we take a look at Black Widow, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. So first up, she comes with the Build-A-Figure piece, uh, the torso of Cole Obsidian right here. And you can see that the whole torso is as big as Black Widow, so once I uh, complete him, he is going to be a very big Build-A-Figure. So let's go ahead and put the build a figure piece I already have on him. I snapped in pretty easily. So now we just have the torso and arm of Cole Obsidian. Let's go ahead and set that to a side. So for her next accessory, she comes with alternate hands. Which I'm not really a fan of the alternate hands because it's just fisted hands. And uh, you really don't see her just fighting hand to hand with any of the villains in Infinity War. She uses her uh, her baton things. There. So there is her alternate hands. Like I said, not a fan of them because she doesn't really just use her fists in the movie. She mainly uses her weapons. So let's go ahead and switch those back out here. I will put them to the side here. Now one thing I do want to note is once you put these on there is a little bit of gappage. Like if you look you can see that there is a bit of gappage right there. I wish that uh, it would go in just a little bit further. There. There. Okay so up next she comes with her disc shooters. And she never actually uses these during the movie. Um, I only know because I play uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest, and this is one of her uh, special abilities. Uh, one of her powers in the game. And she shoots those, and they they shoot like stun discs. But she never actually used these during the movie. And she does, ha does have holsters right here on her hips to put these in. I would have preferred guns. I mean, she has these in the holsters in the movie, but... I would have preferred her coming with uh, two pistols. And up next, for her final accessories, she comes with her electro batons here. Or her staff, I should say. It separates in two. And it looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of sculpting detail to it. And it's just cast in this uh, black collar. And if you look, mine are warped just a little bit. Uh, but with some... Uh, boiling water I should be able to straighten that out and it does combine to make her staff here so that's pretty awesome so there she is just holding it as her staff I really like that I'm glad that uh, Hasbro made them connectable here so you could either make it her staff or the or the two stun batons now I do have uh, trouble with her dropping the uh, baton here out of her left hand it is very loose, as you can see. It doesn't slip out of her right hand at all, but her left hand is very loose. So I might have to boil that hand and see if I can get it, uh, get her grip to tighten up just a little bit. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt of Black Widow. So for the head sculpt, the head sculpt looks phenomenal. This is definitely improvement over the previous Black Widow figures. The likeness to Scarlett Johansson is very nice. Let me show that real quick. Um, I do think it looked a little bit like her, but this new figure just looks much better. Actually, I suppose now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look anything like her. <laughs> but, yes, this is a very awesome head sculpt, and it looks just like her. And the hair also has a little bit of a wash of brown over it, over the blonde. Looks pretty good. But all the details came out nicely on her head sculpt. And her vest looks very nice as well. All the buckles and zippers are painted on, which I'm glad, because Hasbro tends to skip that on figures. They tend to skip that a lot, actually, painting that on. So that was a nice detail. She doesn't have the, any any holders on the back here for her uh, batons here. Because in the movie, she stores them kind of like that. You can see where they're supposed to go in these grooves right here. Would have been nice if it was like magnetized or something like that, but it is not. Um, that's that's really about my only complaint with this figure. I do have uh, one more complaint that I will get into here in a second. 
but the vest is removable. I'll go ahead and show that off. And there she dropped the baton. I figured that would happen. I'll just leave that out of her hand until I take this off. Well, I'll need to take both of these out of her hands. So you kind of just have to wiggle it off there. And you, of course, have to take her head off. So that is what it looks like under the vest. And it actually is sculpted and painted under there. Which I really didn't figure that would happen because Hasbro kind of skimps on some details sometimes. But if you wanted to, you could take that off. And she looks cool like that too. I do like her with the vest on more though. And to show off real quick. If you wanted to put this head on the new body. Um, it does fit, but it is just a tad bit too tall. But if you dribbled it out a little bit, you could make it work. So if you wanted to do that, you could. Like I said, might might require a little work and dribble it down just a little bit. And the skin tones are different, so you'd probably have to repaint her too. But it is possible. So let's go ahead and put uh, Black Widow's head back on her. And then I'll put the vest back on her here there and now I'll go ahead and put the vest back on like I said I think that was really awesome that it is removable she doesn't take it off during the movie but I like uh, I like details like that like removable vests and stuff like that and you can snap it back on like that that top snap uh, ever since I took it off the first time it doesn't want to snap back in all the way but it won't pop open well, if you do that, it'll pop open. But it doesn't tend to pop open, I should say. It mainly just stays there. There. So she has some nice sculpting detail to her arms, too. It has that texturing to it. Now, my other complaint, my only other complaint about this figure right here is the belt. It is cockeyed, and I'm pretty sure that's not how it was in the movie. It should be straight. But it is kind of at a slant right there. And I really don't like that. Uh, it could be movie accurate. Since I only went and saw the movie once. But you know. I'm pretty sure it was just straight. And if you make it straight. Then the, the belt piece right here stands out. So if you do that. It'll, it'll just look stupid. So I just keep it like that. And there's the bottom of her legs. And she has a nice gloss coat over the boots making them look like leather. I thought that was a nice touch because it, it's cast in just this uh, black collar. But they actually painted some gloss over it. Make it look real shiny. So that's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and put her batons here back in her hand. There. So my only complaints are uh, that this hand... I uh, really can't hold this. It's very loose. Like I said, I'm going to try and boil it and see if I can get uh, her grip to tighten up just a little bit. And the belt right there. How it is cockeyed. So that's about all to go over with this figure. It's a very nice figure. So now let's go over the articulation. So she has a ball jointed head that can look back that far. She can look down all the way. She can move her head side to side. She has ball jointed shoulders that can move out that far. It, actually, the uh, the vest doesn't hinder it at all, so that's good. She has single jointed elbow that can bend in very far. She has swivel thoracic move side to side and up and down. I do feel like it should have been on a hinge instead of moving back and forth like that. I feel like it should have moved up and down like that. I think that would have been a lot better. She has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back that far and down that far. She has ball jointed hips that can move out that far you can see that uh, this belt this uh, belt piece right here is even moving differently than on the right hip right here so like I said not sure why it's like that and and you really can't fix it because if you cut it then you'd have to you know it'd create a lot more trouble than just actually leaving it there so let me put that back up there she can kick forward all the way she can get back just a little bit she has swiveled the thigh that doesn't move very much because of the holsters right here for her, uh, for her disc shooters. She has double jointed knee, swivel at the ankle that is very tough to move. There. 
moves down a lot easier than up. And she has an ankle rocker. So the articulation actually surprised me on this. Like I thought the vest would hinder her articulation, but it doesn't hinder her, her articulation at all. So now let's do some size comparisons. So here Black Widow is. Hold on. Now she's not going to want to stand up. Now she's not standing. Okay, I'll just hold her up. So here she is next to the basic Black Widow. And this figure looks terrible next to it, but this was just the figure I used as a stand-in until I could get this one. Here she is next to the Winter Soldier, uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier Black Widow. And they do stand at, stand at the same height, which is good because some of the Hasbro figures, if they're uh, a remake of a previous figure, like a, like a new version of a figure, they're usually uh, different in height. So I'm glad that they are the same height. Here she is next to Captain America. Ah, he's not going to want to stand either. So, there she is next to Captain America. Here she is next to Thor. The only other figure from this wave that I have so far. And finally, here she is next to Proxima Midnight. And her, Proxima Midnight, uh, Scarlet Witch, and Okoye get into a really awesome fight in uh, Wakanda in Infinity War. It is very awesome. And that's probably why I'm going to make this thumbnail. I'm probably going to make it uh, Black Widow versus Proxima. So overall, I would highly, highly recommend this Black Widow figure. I was already looking forward to it a lot anyway because, uh, you know, I I'm huge into the MCU figures. But I was surprised about her articulation, and she comes with quite a bit of accessories, so that's a plus for me too. So that's my review, and if you like this review, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.